He is coming. Cover your butt. Help fight the Flat Earth bots by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more weekly content. 200 may seem like an intimidating number. After all, how can 200 proofs exist for something that is so obviously incorrect? Well, 200 proofs don't exist. In this series of videos, I will be going through each proof, and I say that with quotes you can't see, and demonstrate how each one is wrong. Without further ado, 200 proofs debunked. 200 Proofs Earth is Not a Spinning Ball by Eric Dubay 1. The horizon always appears perfectly flat 360 degrees around the observer regardless of altitude. All amateur balloon, rocket, plane, and drone footage show a completely flat horizon over 20 plus miles high. It looks flat is probably one of the most commonly used flat earth proofs. Somehow, when it comes to flat earth, a single observation is enough to overthrow thousands of years of observations, predictions, and carefully measured experiments. More importantly to flat earthers, the single observation is ironclad. Regardless of how many images you may show them to the contrary, it still looks flat. Flat earthers will show you images like these from high altitude balloons as proof of the flat earth, but... If you ever show them footage from a high altitude balloon that shows a curve, that footage is considered fake. Only NASA and other government space agencies show curvature in their fake CGI photos and videos. But don't worry, flat earthers have a very simple formula for deciding which images are fake and which are real. The formula is as follows. Does it look flat? If yes, it's real. If no, it's fake. Pretty simple. You don't even need to back up your statement, simply claiming that it's fake is good enough. Why don't we give this a try ourselves? Which side has the real images of the Earth? If you guess the right side, you're a flat earther. Actually, the footage from the right was taken from the same footage as the left. They are both from the same cameras. If you would like to learn more about how to look at high altitude balloon footage so that there is no lens distortion, you can check out my channel for a video on that very subject. Let's take a look at some of the footage that is used as proof of the Earth being flat. Before we get started, I want to point out that we will be doing three things to the footage. First, we will be looking at stills rather than video. It's difficult to analyze a piece of footage if it's moving all over the place. Second, we will find stills where the horizon is in the center of the frame. Camera lenses distort straight lines. If the horizon is below the center of the frame, the horizon will curve up. If it's above it, it will curve down. However, if it's in the middle, there is no distortion. If you would like to know more, there's a video on this very subject on my channel. Third, we will be raising the contrast of the images to make the line created by the horizon more apparent. Most of the time you will be shown footage like this, with the horizon well below the center of the frame. The funny part is that this footage disproves another flat earth proof, but we'll talk about that one in a bit. Since the horizon is well below the center of frame, it will have a forced upward curve. You can even see a little of it if I raise the contrast. This means that if the earth is curved, the curve would be straightened out by the lens. For now, let's wait until the horizon is at the center of the frame. Perfect. Here, even without changing the contrast, we can clearly see the curve of the Earth. This is from the same camera that showed a flat horizon. But, once we place the horizon at the center of the frame, we correct the lens distortion and can see what the horizon actually looks like. Let's look at some more footage from a high altitude balloon. Once again, we'll wait until the horizon is at the center of the frame. Raise the contrast, and like before, a curved horizon appears. Contrary to Eric DeBay's claim, there is plenty of footage showing the curved Earth. But, thanks to his handy formula, DeBay and others can simply say this footage is fake, because it disagrees with them. Footage that they would happily accept when the horizon is below the center of the frame and is distorted by the lens. 2. The horizon always rises to the eye level of the observer as altitude is gained so you never have to look down to see it. If Earth were in fact a globe, no matter how large, as you ascended, the horizon would stay fixed and the observer would have to tilt looking down further and further to see it. 
This is another proof that I have already tackled in more detail. The video can be found on my channel. Basically, this is not a proof as much as it is an unfounded claim. First, let's start by disproving this notion that the horizon always rises to eye level. This can be done relatively simply and cheaply. First, get a smartphone and buy a Theodolite app. Most apps are rather cheap and shouldn't run you more than $10. A small price to pay for science! Next, find a tall building and start looking for the horizon, or wait until your next flight and look out the window with the Theodolite. You'll quickly notice that you always have to look down to see the horizon. It may not be very much, but the horizon is always below eye level. Here, I have two images where I do just that. You'll notice on the right hand side a number that denotes the angle at which I am holding the phone, in regards to whether it is pointing up or down. I have taken a picture as close to zero degrees or eye level as I could, and without me even pointing at the horizon, you can already see that the horizon is below eye level. In the next image, you will see what happens when I point the camera at the horizon. I have had to turn my phone downward by 3.3 degrees to be able to see the horizon. The best part about this proof is how simple and inexpensive it is. There really is no excuse not to test this proof out on your own. You will actually see that a lot of debunkers have tested out this proof. What you will never see is a flat earther who is backing up their proof. You may on occasion see them show high altitude balloon footage and claim that the horizon is at eye level. But remember how earlier I pointed out that you mostly see footage where the horizon is below the center of frame? Even without precise measuring devices, flat earthers debunk themselves. That's proof one and two debunked. Only 198 more to go. Yay!